Hey cronies, welcome back to our vlog. This is our first Q&A since three months, maybe or four months, our real Q&A. I mean, we had a Q&A, but it was, or not Q&A, we had a sit and talk about um, uh, the boat, but it was more on topping on the boat, so I don't think it, we could say it's a sit and talk. So now we will just talk and share our thoughts with you. Yeah, this um, sit and talk is, I think, for him it's a little bit serious, but for me it's like to clear things out. So, yesterday, or the latest vlog that you saw about the bed, it was pretty <laughs> unexpected. We had pretty unexpected reactions from people. Yeah. And, <laughs> but guys, I want to tell you that I understand everyone for those who are like accusing me of, you know, being disrespectful girlfriend and all that stuff. So, let us explain to you guys and bring bring you up bring you guys with us along the way. So, um the problem in that vlog was the first and the very important part of the vlog was deleted or something some problem with the videos right like yeah we cannot use it because the the, the material was broke so it was yeah well i was filming the second time which was now the very beginning of the that vlog the first part was um i don't know it got interrupted i think i pressed wrong button on the camera and then it was all German and then Andrew was busy cooking that time so he was like I don't know in a, you're, you were in a hurry and then you just pressed like okay and there I explained the reason why so supposedly that me buying the bed I bought too was supposedly to surprise Andrew because since we moved in here our bunk bed that's a new word that I learned here on YouTube. Our bunk beds or bed frame is way too small than the foam, bed foam, okay? Let me explain to you guys. So, um, when we moved in here, we don't have that much money yet because our social media wasn't working that time, I think. Or we have other priorities, which was the boat, the boat. yeah. So, for example, this is like... Um, the bunk bed which is the wood one that I bought right and this is the foam and what happened is it's way too uh, the bunk bed is way too small than the foam and then this area here is always like here you know like it's too uncomfortable and Andrew is a big man and then we always have problem with the bed so since we were in Germany I made a pretty good income which I will not um, mention for privacy purpose, but I made money, okay? So I said like, um, okay, I'm gonna surprise Andre to buy new bed since our boat is almost done. And he also has money in Germany, but I, I don't touch them. He pays something with it. So I bought it. So supposedly that was a surprise, but I was scared. Although it was, it came from my money, but in our relationship, my money is also his money, and his money is my money. So we are like this kind of couple. So I was scared that um, Andrew will get upset when the bed arrives. So I told him, Shad, I think I need to tell you something. I have this feeling, and I, tr I talk honest now because the comments we got is also honest, and mm -hmm. I'm an honest person. Sometimes it's my, sometimes it's my, yeah, bad habit that I always honest. So, but I'm grown like this to be honest. So I will on, be honest to you as well. Mm -hmm. I have sometimes the feeling since we are since we are vlogging that there are people. I hate this neighbor dogs. I really <laughs> hate them, guys. But it's not so loud. Man. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> The thing is that I have this feeling since we are in a relationship or we are vlogging that there is still in this mind of some people who are watching us or new subscribers this idea of the rich guy 
from Germany or from abroad and the poor Filipino who is taking advantage of him. But everyone who watched our videos from the very beginning knows from how our relationship started and we do never and we always explained every time from where our money comes. Mm. We always say that I'm just 33 years old, I'm not a retired man, so from where should I get money? So that I don't like the fact that everyone, every time when Shami is doing something, it's directly attacking her and um, putting me on this victim yeah. situation. And I really don't like it, guys, I'm honest, you know? The thing is, and this is what I want to say is, the people are talking about disrespectful, okay? That Charmy would be disrespectful to me. And I just want to say two things about it, about being disrespectful. We bought a bike because of me. And yeah. this bike was cost us, you guys saw it in the vlog, the bike cost us 173,000 peso around, right? Yeah, yeah. So, then we made a boat. The boat, the whole idea comes from me. Yeah. And Charmy took her money in the trust in me and my business idea and she put all her trust in me buying and building a boat and it cost us a lot of money I don't want to say how much it is but it's way 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 more more than we expected that we expected so and she trusted me so what I want to say is Chami boat now ordered a uh, um, a bed what we need to have for our guests mm. for 5k so some guys says no uh, in a relationship there we always need to be a communication and when someone is ordering something without letting the other one know uh, this is disrespectful but I'm sorry to say it our relationship is and works in that way that I trust Charmy as well and Charmy is adult enough to make her own decisions so when she thinks we need a bed for our guests and she see a good offer, what is 5k, what is way less than a boat or a bike, <laughs> what kind of man I would be to say or to, to not trust her in her decisions and say, yeah, but before you order something, you need to talk to me first. You guys <laughs> understand my, my thing about it. I think that Charmy is able to think also for me and make also good decisions in my eyes and at the moment I'm happy with what she ordered the thing so is for me there is no reason to always communicate everything in this relationship yeah but the thing guys is um, the money that I use or that what I purchase, I don't use them for gambling, for buying like nonsense stuff, yeah. just wasting money, you know, like nothing, nothing like that. Everything is always for us, for both of us, especially for Andre. He's a big man. He always, we always have struggled with the bed because like I said, the bunk bed is too small. And when the boat was still on, um, on building, we need to sacrifice <laughs> our sleeping yeah. just so we can finish the boat mm -hmm. and so i said to myself the boat is done now we have um um we have budget for the mat because we want to do the very last um the very last step for the boat we have the um, money for that and so i made money very pretty good money and then i saw an offer that is um very good for us and it's also helping for both of us so i grab it and also, she would come home now with a dress from Fendi or a dress from Karl Lagerfeld or something for <laughs> 20,000 without tell, asking me for, before. That's a different story. Mm. Or if she would always order stuff like makeup or something yeah. very expensive, then I'm on your side. But we are not talking about things what is just for her. We are talking about things what is for this house and for us and for our guests. Yeah. So, talking about being disrespectful I think it's a very hard word for a couple who lives in the freedom that we trust each other that the other one is not doing anything in a selfish way yeah. you know because um, we was talking about it and the people who knows our vlogs they know 
that we was always talking about buying sofa, TV, yeah. that we start now making this to our home because at the moment we have no furnitures. Yeah, we have no furnitures. Even the TV, we buy it maybe next year, but yeah. the bed is really like second yeah. of like the list that we Correct. have to because every time we have uh, visitors, they always sleep on the floor. Yeah, so Charmy's family is always sleeping on the floor yeah, while we are sleeping then... there. So we, Charmy decided now, okay, I will buy a bed now. Mm. So like I said, for me, people can think it's not good or wrong, or maybe people can think that it's not uh, right to not discuss about it. But this is the opinion of them and we accept and respect that. But in our relationship, it works different. Okay, we are not a couple where we have to discuss everything. You know, yeah. for an example, when if ever we will buy a TV next year, I know or I think Chami would let me do the decisions or I could go in a shop and buy it because Chami yeah, said because she has no, no idea. idea. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what is important or what not. I don't know what we need or not. Yeah. So of course it's my it's like side to make the decision in this. Or when we buy a car and it <laughs> comes awesome. to the technique <laughs> about the technique of the car, it's also mine. Yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that I think talking about disrespecting uh, in that way just because a woman buys a bed I mean we are not talking about a huge investment what cost us yeah it's it's a very like like I said my intention my intention at that time was really like to surprise and because yeah. we always have struggle in our bed yeah. like it's so sad I mean I not, not so this kind of you know what we mean with trouble and all <laughs> I mean, the other side, no, 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 no. That, that's, that's, that's not what you want to say. Yeah? <laughs> I thought you say that. Um. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, now I don't know what to say. Yeah, now we are done. <laughs> but, guys. To tell you honestly, I think we would not have this kind of comment if the first video, the most important part is not, no. it's, you know, it's just sad that it was, um, it wasn't working. It was something with the camera technique is wrong. But what I want to say is if ever, I also don't do something like that if the money is really, it all comes from his hard work. But the fact that it was from my other side yeah. business so i have the gut to do something like that but oh my gosh i would never yeah, I do think, something i'm like sorry to say it guys and i'm not talk i talk about some people okay i have this feeling that there is really the problem this is the major problem that the people think they see a filipina and a german or a filipina and a man from abroad and they directly knows or think they knows how is the financial balance in yeah, this yeah. relationship? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. You this know? is this is the main this is the main problem in this topic because it's always happen. When mm -hmm. I go and I buy a motorbike, no one cares. Every song, hey, Andre, congratulations. Yeah. When we move into the bigger house, I would say cool thing. But when we buy a washing machine or a bed, mm -hmm. the, there are, comes this kind of people who are always trying to see something bad in you. And yeah. This but is what I, I say, and maybe you guys hear it also in my voice, that I'm not like that kind like normal now, or not this relaxed like normal, but I I really defend my Asawa, my future Asawa in this case, because if ever all Filipinos around this house are like this, mm. I can tell, I honestly, that I am the lucky one who has a Filipina, she makes her own money. And sometimes I make more money than her mm -hmm. in a month and sometimes Charmi make more money than me and in a good relationship my people help each other yeah. and that's the case and I want to try to make a very interesting maybe for you guys a very interesting um, um, comparing comparison, comparison. Um, just imagine you would be a CEO of a company and you have marketing manager, production manager, human resource manager, um, I don't know, sales manager and everything, okay? The work of these managers is that they keep the 
job and the decisions away from you. They take responsibilities and make their own decisions. Just imagine you would be a CNO and every one of these managers are forced to always come to you and have a back question like, can I order this? Can I do that? Can I, can I spend this money? No, every manager around the world, he has like a, like a balance of money, a balance of budget, what he is responsible and he can make his own decision in this level. And our relationship works the same. Okay, if Shami would come now home and she ordered, like I say, a huge collection of dresses or something for herself and spending 30k or 40k, I would also ask if she is insane or crazy or if something <laughs> if happened she, to if her. I'm in yeah. right mind. But I think in a good working relationship around this 5k budget or also 10k, if this decision she made is a good decision and so far it looks like a very good decision there is no reason for me that I have to confirm it or to to agree with it because if she would come to me in advance and say hey Andre I want to order a bed what we need so what should I say no just because she asked I mean that's it makes no sense in my eyes about relationship but it's just my opinion yeah. and I think our relationship is running good so far. We have, you guys will see a fight of us. Fight? Because of Apollo. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's normal, guys. Yeah, I it's mean. a normal fight because he was recording and then we ended up in a fight and I think this time <laughs> we will just show it to see yeah, yeah. also that we are authentic and we also fight. It was really the first fight after... Couple we, of months. If we, we even cannot remember when we was fighting the last time. but. Yeah. You guys will see it, so you guys know that also our relationship has ups and downs. Our relationship <laughs> has never been perfect, but every day we always like choose each other and we always try our best to make it work and solve the problem and yeah. apologize to each other. Especially my Asawa always apologize yeah. to me. <laughs> I always come first. Yeah. yeah, I always come first and I'm so uh, But lucky. also not in this kind of... <laughs> In that kind yeah, it's of okay, also, yeah. so first. <laughs> I think it's really I would say it that our fault because the yeah, first video I is missing. It, yeah, I think it was and our fault we cut it maybe me, I cut it in the wrong way. Yeah, no, um the video is just not available and if with that video, if in that vlog the video that was missing, which was the most important part, is there, I don't think those people would accuse me of something like very bad mm. which I totally understand because this is how you know when you uh, decide to join as a content creator youtuber you cannot please everybody it doesn't matter how much positive or goodness you upload there's always someone who says something but in this case it's very understandable and I understand you guys and so this is why we made this video so for you not to worry about Andre um, in this case, it's always like Andre who likes to take risk, and it's me who's the stingy one when it comes to spending, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, every time when I come home with a very great pizza, I got problems. Yeah, of course, because I care about your health. And let us know in the comment below if um, you agree with us or you are of a completely different. Uh, opinion mm. and guys we do not do it now to um, start uh, yeah defending ourselves defending ourselves or fighting with bashers or something no. we do social media to be in a contact with you and mm. we enjoy what we see there are sometimes a lot of comments where the guys are helping me to see something from another side and I'm sorry to say it George you are not mean with it <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I want to say that I love to be in contact with you and this is the only way how we can communicate with yeah, you yeah. so it's not that we are trying now to defend ourselves we are mm -hmm. trying to and Q&A is that you know yeah, it's people like have maybe uh, issues or they see something and they are worried so mm. we use this channel now to give you an answer and we can tell you 100% I'm happy, I'm not struggling, 
I don't feel that my Chami is sucking my money out because there is not much money she can suck. Yeah, and there's one thing I need to say. There was a question why uh, the boat is on Chami's name or the business is on Chami's name. The reason why it called CSL and C sheet is for Chami. It's my decision because I mm -hmm. love Chami and I wanted to make it like an honor to her. The second one, the second reason why it's 100% on, on Chami's name, it has another reason. We will not explain you this now, but keep um, keep with us and stay with us and then you guys will know the future uh, why there is reasons why it's on Chami's name because we have another idea. But I will open up once the time is right to open up about it. I also told Andre, and you can come back to this video if ever, I also give him an assurance that if ever we break up, he doesn't need to get worried about the investments we made together. You know, because I would yeah, this never is once be... ever they will we will break yeah, up. That's the ever, only way yeah. how you can prove that what yeah. you say is right. But yeah. I understand that the people have doubts because there are a lot of topics about it, a lot of a lot of stories. Yeah, the internet is full of stories about bad Filipinos. Mm. But next time I will upload a vlog with me where I tell you stories about that sometimes Filipinos are also the victim. But wait for it, guys, and then you will hopefully you will hopefully change a little bit your mind about Filipinos in general. Yeah. Okay, Gronis, I think that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our sit and talk and our explanation video. Like I said, it's not a defending of us. We want to keep in touch with you. There's a lot of more vlogs to come now because as you can know, or as you see already, we will upload now every vlog. We will try our Every best. day from Monday to Friday of vlogs. So there's a lot of things for you to come. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.